What's going on guys? My name is Jeff and this is Mad Hatter's Reef and today we're going to be talking about the top 10 beginner corals for nano reef tanks. What's going on guys? My name is Jeff and this is Mad Hatter's Reef and if you're new to what we're doing here, this is where I talk about everything reef tank related. So if you love reef tanks like I do, Make sure you smash that subscribe button and don't forget to mind the bells. It's Sunday, brand new Mad Hatter's Reef video just for you and today we're going to be talking about the top 10 beginner corals for nano reef tanks. Now I am running out of ideas for top 10 videos so if you guys want to see a top 10 on something that has to do with reef tanks leave a comment down below. I need some help. Help me. Somebody throw me a life preserver. So that's enough out of this intro. Let's jump into it. So before we jump into our top 10 beginner corals for nano reef tanks I wanted to give you guys a quick update on the nano tank and it's not really a update where I've added a bunch of new corals and new equipment uh, because the last thing that I've added to this tank was the fish tank lid uh, that I did a video for a few weeks ago and I'm at kind of a weird spot with this tank at the moment I don't really know what I want to do with it um, I, I am kind of sick of just looking at it with nothing going on basically the same old two fish in the tank no corals I do have uh, some lighting on the tank, but ultimately uh, it's been pretty stagnant for a long time. Basically, it's just been a tank for those two fish um, over like the last year. And I'm kind of over it being on my desk. I'm thinking about relocating it. And if I could find a spot that works, I would like to start adding corals to this tank. I would like to start, um, you know, documenting it for you guys on YouTube a little bit more. But ultimately, not a whole lot has changed. But my hopes were with this video is I was actually going to talk about some of the corals that I had in this tank. But obviously, there's no coral. There's just a yellow watchman goby and a Wyoming white clownfish. A heater, some live rocks, and some of the my daughter's drawings behind the tank. So, oh, and there's a fish tank lid. But that's where I'm at with the nano reef tank, and I'll keep you guys posted on what direction I go with with this tank. The only thing I know is that I'm definitely over it being on my desk, and I'd like to have a little bit more space and some more screens so I can work on the interwebs a little bit more efficiently. Okay, so today's topic, the top 10 beginner corals for nano reef tanks. Now, the reason why I feel that this video is important to make is because more and more people are getting into the saltwater aquarium hobby and jumping right into nano reef tanks and nano reef tanks are actually uh, i would say more difficult to keep than a much larger aquarium because things go wrong much faster in a nano reef tank than they do in a larger aquarium and that's a very important thing to consider when you are shopping for corals for your nano reef tank is stability obviously there's going to be some variances in temperature uh, salinity and other nutrients within the aquarium but all of those things are very important when it comes to keeping coral some other things that i considered when i put this list together was how big and how fast the coral grows so obviously you wouldn't want to put a coral in there that you're constantly going to have to nip and tuck and basically frag once a month just so you can kind of maintain the tank a certain look or aesthetic that you're going for and lastly the thing that i was looking for when i was selecting corals for this list was different types of coral i didn't want to have just one type of coral just a bunch of different morphs throughout the tank i wanted to have a list of corals that are going to cover the entire spectrum and offer a variety of different colors so i just wanted to give you guys an idea as to what i was looking for when i put this list together so that's enough of me mumbling in this mic number 10 for our beginner corals for nano reef tanks is green star polyps so some of the reasons that i picked green star polyps which this is probably the first and last time that green star polyps will ever be on a mad hatter's reef top 10 list unless it's a coral to avoid but i'll get into that for another video uh, they are extremely hardy which that's a benefit especially with a small aquarium that's going to have a lot of fluctuations in it they're going to be able to withstand change uh, they're easy to care for they're tolerant of a range of water conditions which is important in a nano reef tank uh, they are fast growing so that's something that you need to take in consideration but i think 
those are important things to consider for a beginner coral. Somebody who's just starting out in the hobby that is a little bit nervous about getting a coral and keeping it, I think that they'll find a good amount of success with Green Star Polyps, and that's why it's number 10 on our top 10 beginner corals for nano reef tanks. Coming in at number 9 on our top 10 list for beginner corals and nano reef tanks is the Candy Cane Coral. This is probably one of my favorite beginner corals and even though this isn't a very uh, lovely variation of this coral my personal favorite is the one that's like a really bluish almost aqua teal color but this is a very hardy coral it's an lps coral which stands for large polyp stony even though that it's an lps coral it is a branching lps coral which makes it one easy to frag and its growth structure uh, isn't really um, of a lot of other lps corals it kind of acts more like a acapora in the way that it grows out and it becomes very stocky which is a interesting growth pattern and you can put them anywhere in the tank uh, top middle bottom and they're going to do just great under a variety of different lighting schemes coming in at number eight on our top 10 beginner corals for nano reef tanks is the recordia now this is one of my very first corals that i ever got and i believe well my first tank was a 55 gallon and i think i got like an orange a blue and a green and they are very good growers uh, they grow to about the size of a silver dollar and as they will move over the rock work over time because they're constantly they're very similar to anemones they're trying to look for that perfect spot they leave a little bit of their foot and then a new recordia will grow from that very beautiful color comes in a number of different morphs very tolerant of change that's why it makes it a great beginner coral for nano reef tanks Coming in at number seven on our top 10 corals for beginners and nano reef tanks is the ACAN. Now this is a large polyp stony and what that means is it has a skeleton base and large polyps. That is not a scientific term, that's just a hobby generated term. But these corals are absolutely beautiful. They offer a variety of different color morphs and they're going to do well in dimly lit tanks. And that makes them a really good candidate for nano reef tanks. I've seen these guys do well in a variety of different situations and they are very colorful so that's why they are a great coral to consider when you are looking for corals for your nano reef tank coming in at number six on our top 10 corals beginners nano reef tank list thing is the hammer coral now this is a coral that i have recently fallen in love with and i've been in the hobby for um, 12 years now and just recently I've discovered a love for this coral. Now I've always thought they were pretty, but I've been actually looking for different variations of this coral. And one thing that I'm going to recommend for a beginner is to go with the branching variety. There's two different varieties of this. There's the walling variety, which it's basically just a mass of skeleton. And there's the large pulp stony, which that's good for a larger aquarium. But if you're going to put this guy in a nano tank, I would recommend that you go with the branching type because it's going to make your life a lot easier if you have to frag that coral. Even though this is a LPS coral, it does offer a variety of movement. It has long tentacles that kind of flow with the water, and that's something that you're going to need to consider as well with this coral. It does need a little bit of water flow uh, to keep it healthy. So great coral, great coloration, definitely something to consider if you're looking for a coral that is going to offer movement and good coloration in your nano reef tank. Coming in at number five, the only SPS coral to make the list, and that is the Pavona coral. This is a very interesting variation of a Pavona coral. Uh, all these corals actually on this list are from eBay, uh, well, Worldwide Corals eBay store, and they're on sale right now. So if you guys want to pick up any of these corals that are in this list, they're actually for sale and will be up on eBay, I think, until about 8 p.m. Eastern time. And this is a very hardy SPS coral. That's why it's on this list. It's something that I believe in one of my other beginner coral videos, I mentioned this guy. And it's very, very hardy. It's going to offer some unique growth patterns and definitely some awesome coloration. So check out the Pavona coral. Coming in at number four on our top 10 beginner corals for nano reef tanks is the mushroom. 
Now, this is a very awesome variation of a mushroom. Uh, and they've come in, they're just like zoanthids, really. They come in a huge variety of different morphs. And this one in particular is absolutely stunning. But all in all, mushrooms are a very hardy coral. They're going to offer some unique colorations and growth patterns. And they definitely are easy to uh, cultivate because they're, as they move around the tank, much like an anemone would, which we talked about with the recordia, they're going to leave little bits of foot and then they will grow a little tiny mushroom from those little bits. And they are great coral because they are very hardy and will withstand a number of different lighting schemes. Coming in at number three on our top 10 corals for nano reef tanks and beginners is the Hollywood Stunner Chalice. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say chalices are good nano reef tank corals because they're not. But this chalice is probably one of the most bulletproof chalices out there in the hobby today. Now, I had one of these in my nano reef tank and... I was cleaning it one day and I was actually wiping the salt creep off the top of the tank and a big old chunk of salt creep landed smack dab in the middle of this coral and it didn't die. A huge slab of salt creep landed on this coral, burnt it, it had a dead spot in the middle and it was grown back within a week. It is one of the most bulletproof corals out there. And if you're looking to grab a chalice, this is definitely one that I would consider. Coming in at number two on our top 10 beginner corals for nano reef tanks is the Duncan. This is probably one of my favorite corals at the moment. I picked my very first Duncan up about a month ago, and I absolutely love it. You can feed it, which is fun because it will accept food. It will actually wrap its tentacles around the food and ingest it, which is very fun, especially when you're first starting out in the hobby, to have a coral that is going to react to something that you do. Uh, they are very hardy and offer not a whole lot of coloration, but they have an interesting growth pattern, and they are going to be able to withstand a lot of changes in the tank so that's something that is definitely important and needs to be in place for a good beginner coral coming in at number one on our top 10 beginner corals for nano reef tanks is the zoanthid now you can't talk about zoanthids without mentioning the fact that they have a toxin within them which is potentially fatal if ingested or entered into the bloodstream. It's called paletoxin, and it's some bad stuff. So anytime that you're handling zoanthids, I definitely recommend that you guys wear uh, safety glasses and gloves and all that protective stuff uh, to keep yourself safe. And make sure if you're ever fragging zoanthids that there isn't any pets around and that you're making sure that everything is taken care of properly because it potentially could kill a small pet. Uh, with that being said, they offer a huge variety of coloration, uh, different morphs, different sizes, very solid coral, definitely a beginner friendly coral because they are resilient and going to be able to withstand just about anything that a new hobbyist could throw at them. And that's what makes them the number one coral for beginners and nano reef tanks. All right, folks, that's going to do it for today's video. I want to thank you for joining me. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. That's going to do it for today. I want to thank you guys for joining me and all of the support that you guys show me each and every week. I'll see you next time right here with a brand new video.